folks, I'm not not sure if you saw the stats this week, but wow, new home sales, big beat. Pending home sales, big beat. I was way wrong with that one. And uh, more importantly, we're seeing more and more investors get deals done. We saw National Association of Realtors report that investor uh, transactions were up 3% uh, over last month. So uh, people are figuring it out. People, like Redfin said, buyers have the power. So it's time to get some great deals. But uh, I thought we'd talk to Mr. Stephen Dow from Velocity Mortgage about what's going on. But before we do that, <laughs> we got to get the marketing thing out of the way. Yes, sir. Again, although I work very happily for Velocity Mortgage Capital, all the ideas and topics discussed on this channel, that of my own. So let's do another one. There you go. So I, I thought I would just talk about what's going on in your business, right? You're in the mortgage mm -hmm. business. Rates are much higher than they were a year and a half, two years ago. Uh, right. I'm guessing what you're closing down shop and you're going to go become a barista or something or what's going on? Uh, yes, actually, that's why I wanted to shoot this last video to let you know that today will be my last day. Uh, we are, uh, he's no, kidding. No, no, he's would, kidding. He's kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, no, no. We're, we're actually stronger than ever. Um, I'm still seeing a, a good amount of business um, with rates going up. It doesn't really impact our ability to qualify, you know, loans or borrowers because we're not looking at that same metric. So really for us, it's just if the borrower can, you know, take the payment um, and we, you know, our rates creeped up just a little bit, but just fairly recently. But, you know, prior to that, when everybody else's rates were going up, we were the same. We were right. just kind of ahead of the her, you know, uh, ahead of the curve, maybe two months ago or so. Where right. everyone was like, oh, my God, you're so high. We were like, no, not now. Look at us now. We're awesome yeah. now. Um, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but no, no, we're, we're definitely seeing a lot of business. I think it's a combination of different things, Mike. I think you touched upon certain things. Buyers have the power now to some extent, you know, to be able to make certain, you know, lowball offers. Yeah. Uh, you're definitely seeing, you know, desperate or motivated sellers because there's a yeah. lot of price drops. Um, you know, I had somebody try to, you know, a uh, 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 request for cash out on a property in the you – know, Tacoma area and it was a you know a lakefront property bought it for I think like a million in, in I want to say early October of last year did some rehab I don't know how much I didn't see the before and after pictures but put it back on the market in January for 2.75 oh my goodness yeah yeah and has been steadily dropping it and is now at 1.795 <laughs> it's a million dollar haircut right there that that yeah. folks would be yeah. a motivated seller Right, right. So, so I think in a lot of cases, that's where I think where we might be seeing, you know, seeing an uptick because with rates going up, you're now, I guess, maybe seeing people having to make those more aggressive offers. So it's like, I can't qualify based upon what you wanted for. You got to drop your price or you got to meet me halfway, whatever to make deals happen. So it's either that or for the seller, what's the alternative? Do I keep it on the market at my high price where, you know, yeah. rates have gone up now? You know what I mean? It's a little less likely. I, so, I, yeah, I, I think, I think. I think the next four months, because it happens almost every winter, and we're in winter mm -hmm. now, um, mm -hmm. where seller motivation goes up. Because if you don't have to sell, if you don't have to have an open house or right. sell your home between Thanksgiving and Christmas, you're just going to wait right. till February. Oh, you're yeah. just going to pull it off the market. You're out. Like You oh, don't yeah. want people messing with your Christmas Walking, display right. and all that. It's not, right. not cool. Right. But boy, if you're listening to home between Thanksgiving and Christmas, there's a level of motivation there. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, you just want to get it done with. Like you said, you don't want, you know, people looking yeah. at your house when, when you're trying to make, you know, dinner and, and everything yeah. else. And so, yeah, it, it, it's a different situation. But um, I think during this time, um, I think with just how everything's going on and and, and it's a, it's just an interesting time because, like you said, we, we're, there is a definite increase in in uh, home sales. And so, yeah, wow, that was just, uh, yeah, that was yeah, interesting. Pretty Pretty wild, right? But at the end of the day, um, there's still a lot of capital sloshing around the system. You know, oh, we yeah. talk to real estate investors every day on this channel. A lot of them have capital mm -hmm. ready to deploy. A lot, of, a lot of people have been trying to do their first property, but they couldn't buy one because it was so competitive. Right. And now, just do the work. Right? Mm -hmm. Great deals. No good mm -hmm. deals. We're only doing great deals. Uh, in video number one today, we talked about terms. 50, 40, 10 is a great one. We talked about closing right. costs, three points. We talked about right. seller credits for repairs. You right. know, there's all of these things that you could do today. Pull mm -hmm. every lever because you mm -hmm. can get some great deals. I don't care what the cost of capital is. If the cost of capital is the same for everyone, it doesn't right. bother me. I just right. write better offers, right? Right. Oh No, agreed. Again, maybe 
we maybe you come across a listing that seller financing, but the terms may not allow you to qualify or for it to cash flow if it's all seller financing. Maybe do a combination with you know our loan and the seller, but them in the second position, but maybe negotiate better terms with the seller on the second. Yeah, they get so some now cash it does now. cash flow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So there's a lot of different things to where, okay, maybe it was presented in one way, but if you come at them if you know from a different angle and it's a, of a benefit to them to do so, and it works out for you as well too. So it'll cash flow. It it's a win-win. It's just finding those right situations, running the numbers, and then doing the work. But when you do the work, yeah. I've seen and I've done tons of deals for one rental time, you know, uh, uh, all channel members where when they've done the work, it's a beautiful yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. It's so there's, there's more power today. The buyer, <laughs> like Redfin said, the buyer has all the power today. So folks, if you have the power, use it. And again, yeah. I want to be clear. It takes work. It takes consistency. It takes follow up, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Nobody, I don't remember a time where a seller accepted my first crazy offer. But maybe the nope. third or the fourth time I follow it up, we start having a meaningful conversation. And mm -hmm. uh, if you want it, you know, how how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? So uh, right. just do the work. Now, and I, I, on a side note, I was going to say, you know, we, we tell them do the work and, and and you know, I guess uh, uh, the, the framework, but some of the tools that may be needed to sometimes, you know, uh, execute that. I think maybe you could talk about. Uh, you used to use this one company. I forgot it was... Um, that pulled up data. What was the name of that company, Mike? Uh, PropStream and or yeah. uh, Privy. Yeah, I've used. Both. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so as far as like maybe you know, kind of getting some backstory to to oh, the yeah. situation before you approach, like then you know the financing oh, yeah. you know term. Maybe you could utilize that to motivate them. You know what I mean? Like, hey, oh yeah, PropStream is your loan is awesome. about to you know a uh, 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 mature pretty soon and whatnot. Maybe if we do it this way, and then you can just figure out some you know kind of different angles to it. So. I think that might be a way or start mm -hmm. to look up, yeah, other properties on, on, uh, for commercial properties even that yeah. loans are going to be maturing. Maybe you can come in and buy it or or maybe make you know different types yeah. of offers. So there's just different angles. But nevertheless, if you need to reach me, sdao at velocityofmortgage.com. Would love to talk to you about these different scenarios. Try to come up with something creative uh, and see if we can uh, you know uh, help out your financing needs. So again, otherwise, go. have a great weekend. Thanks for having me, Mike. Later.